everybody and welcome to this lesson on looking at elastic cash service that is provided by AWS. So a lot of us might not be familiar with elastic cash or what it does. So elastic cash is basically a service in which you can very easily deploy, run and scale popular open source compatible in memory data stores. So kind of like what the name says, elastic cash, you're caching in memory. So it's basically a fully managed Redis and Redis and memcache, which allows you to again deploy in memory data stores. So it's, you can allow it allows you to build data intensive apps or improve the performance of your existing apps by retrieving data from high throughput and low latency in memory data stores. So it's a popular choice for let's say gaming or ad tech or financial services and even IoT apps. So the benefits again are immense. First and foremost, extreme performance. So again, it works as an in-memory data store and cache to support the most demanding apps that require sub millisecond response times. So again, by utilizing an end-to-end -end optimized stack uh, running on the dedicated nodes, it provides secure and extremely fast performance. It's fully managed, so you no longer need to perform management tasks such as hardware provisioning, software patching, setup, configuration, monitoring, and so on. It continuously monitors your clusters to keep your workloads up and running so that you can focus on the high, higher value application deployment. And lastly, scalable. Again, you can scale out, scale in, scale up to meet the fluctuating demands of your organization or of your application. You can write and memory scaling is supported with sharding and replicas provide read scaling. Lots of options, lots of benefits for utilizing Elastic Cache. If, for example, you have those memory intensive applications or use cases, this is a very, very good service and powerful service, which is offered by AWS. Now, how it works um, in terms of how it interoperates so within your environment. So let's say you have internet scale applications, you know, whether you're using gaming, media streaming, uh, social media, any app or any service that requires fast data access. This is where Elastic Cache comes in because it has a in-memory data store for use as a database, cache, message broker, and a queue. So you can store informal data in memory for sub millisecond response because if for example you had all that data stored in a database you know whether it's aurora whether it's sql the time and the response would be considerably slower as compared to elastic cache you know and again some of the use cases are you know, real-time transactions you know chats your business intelligence your analytics because users nowadays they require fast access or fast response and you know if there's a delay and even if there's a second delay between your service and your competitor service they're most likely going to go to your competitor and you have to utilize a lot of the new hardware new technology that allows this response to be considerably slower and especially if you have millions of requests coming in every second or every minute a database handling all those requests is going to be considerably slower as compared to if you were to use an in-memory data store such as elastic cache so the two main engines that are supported by elastic cache are redis and memcached now redis is basically a data store that provides sub millisecond latency to power internet scale real-time applications it's built on an open source Redis and compatible with Redis APIs. Elastic Cache for Redis also works with your Redis clients and use the open data format to store your data. So the self-managed Redis applications can work seamlessly with Elastic Cache for Redis without any code changes because it combines the speed, the simplicity, and the versatility of the open source Redis with manageability, security, and scalability from the Amazon to power the most demanding real-time apps. The other one is Memcached, which is a Memcached compatible in-memory key value store service that can be used as a cache or a data store. So it delivers the performance, ease of use, and simplicity of Memcached. It's fully managed, scalable, and secure, making it an ideal candidate for frequently accessed data, which must be in memory. Again, it's a very popular choice for uh, web, mobile apps, for gaming, for ad tech, and for e-commerce. It just depends on you know which platform you are using or, or which 
technology you are using uh, would determine whether you use Redis or whether you use Memcached. Now here are a few differences that allow you to choose which one you are going to be using for your organization or for your application. Most of the organizations use Redis, but there are times when you use Memcached and a lot of organizations also use Memcached. Again, this depends on your infrastructure, your deployment, your expertise, uh, but this table just basically gives you a good overview in terms of what features are offered by which one. Um, the main one, again, that you guys need to see is, the, is that Memcached is multi-threaded architecture, whereas Redis is not. So that is the only primary difference or advantage that Memcached would have over Redis, but uh, again, depending on the application that's developed or use case, will determine which one you are going to use. Now, some of the use cases for Redis, I uh, just wanted to take you through a couple of them just to give you a, a snapshot of how it can be used. So one is caching. Uh, is a great choice. Uh, Redis is a great choice for it. Uh, again, implementing highly available, distributed, and secure in-memory cache. Uh, again, it allows you to decrease the access latency, increase the throughput, and ease the load of your uh, database. Now, and it can use, it can serve frequently requested items at sub millisecond response times and enables you to easily scale for higher loads without growing the cost of your backend databases. So if you were relying solely on your backend databases, you'd essentially have to grow or scale out the databases, which is a lot more costly than using ElastiCache. There's also one for chat messaging uh, because it supports PUB and SUB standard with pattern matching. So this allows uh, it to support high performance chat rooms, real time comment streams, and even server intercommunication. And you can also use those to trigger actions based on published events. So you can basically build a chat application that utilizes Redis. Uh, and elastic cache in order to increase or decrease latency and increase the throughput so it basically providing a better user experience uh, for the users that are going to be accessing the chat uh, this is comes in very handy for example uh, in, in examples you guys see in you know either stocks um, in finance or in sports so let's say there's a big uh, sports game going on uh, and you know users are going to be chatting a lot more because there's a couple million users um, you know or tens of millions of users logged in to view that event whether it's the Olympics whether it's uh, you know the Super Bowl whichever sport that you are going to be watching or, or, or hosting uh, this would be a very very good tool to use to uh, provide that sub millisecond millisecond response to the end users for memcache just quickly uh, again uh, two of the main use cases for memcached are either caching or a session store so a session store are easy to create with memcached you know you can simply use the hash table that is provided by memcached and can be distributed across multiple nodes and scaling the session store is as easy as adding a node and updating the clients to take advantage of the new node so those are two main use cases for uh, using elastic cache for memcache you know where you have the end user you have the web server uh, you have the memcache again, working as an in-memory data store in between the database uh, so essentially that's where memcache is used so again depending on uh, what your use case is whether you are in a high performance environment such as you know chat messaging between financial markets uh, or IOT or gaming Redis would be more uh, suited for your environment if you are more on a web server environment trying to ease the load off your database then memcache would probably be better suited for your environment